Hey folks, it's Adrian here, and we are looking at a market that has just been uh, all over the place today. So we were up pretty good. We were up into R1 on the QQQs this morning and on the spiders. It looked like it was going to be a day that was set to sail. But you know what? The Magnificent 7 really had other things in mind. So when we were looking at these, it was uh, Apple. You know, the opening trade on Apple was a beauty, came down. Touched that uh, 229, probably 25, 30 level, and then popped up to 229.96. That was a beauty. NVIDIA did our opening dance. That's straight from boot camp. And, you know, John caught it. John made a bunch of money again. That's fantastic. And, you know, that's, that's a trade to focus on. So that's a mechanical trade that's based on a bunch of analyses of what's going on in the pre-market, some volume stuff that's going on. But effectively, on both of these stocks, these moves off the open, while they look like it's a softening market, what it really says is we're going to go long and we are going to try to capture a move up into uh, the trading range for the morning. So while the market is up at R1 and the stock is down around the central pivot, what we're looking for is the strength of the market to pull the stock higher and give us some some reason to be long in addition to all the stuff that happened in the pre-market that we focus on that's getting us into the trade to begin with. Then we had this guy right here, infield fly set up, a perfect infield fly. And that's what I want you to look for on the intraday charts. Talked about this in the room. And, you know, if, if you see them and, you know, you see something like this on Microsoft, that's not really an infield fly. That's just sort of in the spirit of an infield fly. Don't, don't look at those. Look at the ones that are the real move where you see a big positive move followed by you know this move higher from a, uh, from an open that opened in line and then a close back down in the bottom of the range and when all those pieces of the puzzle are in place then the thing to look for is a retracement to a significant support and resistance in this case 11957 so we're off to a good start then when we were talking strategy a few minutes ago in the room what I was saying I was looking for is on the long side of the market, I like Amazon from this 173.85 uh, touch up through the blue pivot. So if we get down 173.85 and then back up through that 174 pivot, I think that uh, it makes for a decent long. Google was a very orderly trade. So Google, I said, you know, let's watch 164.11. When it came up and touched 164.11, bam, right down to 163.55. So that worked out exactly the way that we thought it would. That is based on the cluster analysis and the volatility bands that we've got in place and the, the volume weighted average price that we were looking at earlier that all came together to tell us, you know, we had confluence, a confluence of indication, and we probably had a move to the downside in the works. Is it long now? I don't think so, right? I'm not going to focus on the long side. I just want to see where does it go when it tries to move higher and you know are these levels up in here going to hold it so as as we look at it we see we've got this like 16390 level that that is pretty much this this set of highs in here does it inflect there and move lower if it does then we're going to put another line there and you know start trying to figure out is there something going on out here if there is we've got a short from that level if not let's wait for it to get back up into 16411 and then on nvidia you know we had a short on this one from 11850 and that 11850 short that bled all the way up into our next short sale level not into a stop but into our next short sale level at 11888 so it got up there it exactly doubled our position then and then came all the way down into that 11797 profit objective so with all that stuff in mind i think the thing to look for here is is it going to pop up into here again. If it does, I think I'm going to give it room up into that 118, maybe 85 kind of an area before I try to take a short sale on it because that was a, you know, a lot of consternation as it, it was being pulled by the market. The QQQs were straight down and made a very exaggerated move compared to what NVIDIA was doing. 
And NVIDIA had a lot of relative strength because as the NASDAQ was really selling off, it was trying to bump up into that range. It was desperately trying to hang on at the tick. And then when it did sell off, it sold off fast. So I think that those are the primary focus. I think Tesla is a little bit too loose right now. I think Microsoft from the central pivot is a beauty, but it got away from us. This one is already off to the races and we're going to have to reevaluate this as it moves higher because we've got a lot of stuff, you know, clustered up in here that's going to provide some resistance as we head higher. We've got to figure out what that resistance means and whether or not it's going to be tradable. All right. So that's my two cents. I hope it's helpful and you guys have a great rest of the trading day here on Friday. Hey, spend lots of time with family and friends this weekend. You've got a long one. Enjoy it.